right, let's get started. Today we're going to be talking about the intercostal muscles as well as the neurovasculature of the thorax. So first, let's talk about the external intercostal muscles, which, which are principal muscles of inspiration. There's another principal muscle of inspiration known as the diaphragm. So the external intercostal muscles originate at the tubercles of the ribs and extends to the costochondral junction. So here, in this bottom picture right here, we have the vertebral end. So picture like a spinous process. It's gonna be a terrible picture of a spinous process uh, coming out like that. And then this is the sternum. So um, this is going to be your um, ventral side of the rib, and this is going to be your dorsal side of the rib. And the tubercle right here, so the more dorsal side, um, is the origin of the external intercostal muscles, um, which we can see right here deep to pectoralis minor. Um, so now that we understand where the external intercostal muscle is, let's kind of look at this picture on the left. So here we have the external intercostal muscle. Uh, we just kind of took a bite out of this um, bony part of the rib right here. And deep to the external intercostal muscle is the internal intercostal muscle. And deep to the internal intercostal muscle is the innermost intercostal muscle. And something that might help you um, when you're in lab is paying attention to the direction of these muscle fibers um, because that's going to help you distinguish between the external and internal intercostal muscles. The external intercostal muscles transition to the external intercostal membrane at the sternal end of the ribs transitioning to cartilage. So here we can see where there is bone, where there is the bony part of the rib, there is the external intercostal muscle. But whenever we transition to cartilage, whenever we get more ventral, the um, external intercostal muscle transitions into the external intercostal membrane. Um, and here's just a side note. Um, there are principal and there are also accessory muscles of inspiration. So the accessory muscles of inspiration are the sternocleidomastoid, scalene, and pectoralis minor. All right, now that we talked about the external intercostal muscles, let's talk about the internal intercostal muscles. Um, the function of the internal intercostal muscles is to pull the ribs inferiorly during active expiration. Um, other muscles which are involved in active expiration include the rectus abdominalis, quadratus laborum, and quadratus laborum. Um, and another thing to note is that passive expiration is the result of elastic recoil of the lungs and ribs. Next, let's talk about the innermost intercostal muscles. Um, so these are continuous with the diaphragm, and they also play a role in expiration by adducting the ribs. So now that we talked about the intercostal muscles, let's talk about the um, arter arterial supply of the thorax. So the internal thoracic artery, also known as the internal mammary artery, is the artery which supplies the chest wall and the breasts. Um, the flow from the aorta to the uh, internal thoracic artery is different on the right side and the left side. So if we're trying to get to the right internal thoracic artery, we're going to go from the left ventricle into the ascending aorta, um, into the brachiocephalic artery, into the right subclavian artery, and at the first part of the right subclavian artery, we have the internal mammary artery, also known as the internal thoracic artery, and that's going to supply our thorax. The left side is a little different. Um, we have the ascending aorta. Uh, we're gonna go from the ascending aorta to the aortic arch to the left subclavian artery to the left. Um, the first part of the left subclavian artery, we have the left internal mammary artery, um, and we don't have a picture of the, of the left side. Um, and next, let's talk about the endothoracic fascia. So the endothoracic fascia is, so here, um, this is a uh, cross-section of um, really the skin to the lungs. So this is going to be superficial, and then this is going to be deep. And the skin is going to be this line right here. And we can see deep to the skin, we have the subcutaneous fat. We have the ribs, we have the uh, external intercostal muscle between the, um, subclave, uh, between the subcutaneous fat and the rib. We have the neurovascular, neurovascular bundles, so the uh, intercostal vein, artery, and nerve, so van. Um, deep to that, we have the internal intercostal 
muscle, and then we have the endothoracic fascia. So the importance of the endothoracic fascia is we have the parietal pleura in the thor thorax, which um, creates the intrapleural space with the visceral pleura of the lung. And the separation between the internal intercostal muscle and the parietal pleura is going to be from the endothoracic fascia.